I'm Frank Marcus of Motor Trend, and I'm sitting in the newest Dodge Challenger to hit the roads, the V6 automatic car. 21,995 buys you 250 horsepower, 250 pound-feet of torque. How does it compare with the V8s? Best way to find out is a drag race. Uh, these cars aren't all about acceleration. There's also handling and braking to be considered. So we're uh, taking a spin on the uh, Motor Trend Figure 8 course to assess the transitional behavior and max lateral grip and the acceleration and braking into and out of turns. This is a big car for 250 horsepower and 250 pound-feet of torque. So accelerating out of the turns is a lot less traumatic than uh, we're going to find in the V8s, I believe. Sure enough, you can smoke the tires with the RT. Shaves about a second off of the figure eight time, but the ESP system can't be turned off completely. Of course, the SRT8 does allow you to turn ESP off completely and smoke the tires like a drift king. If you stick to the program, though, you can shave another second off of the RT's already great figure eight time. So basically, we're finding that you do get what you pay for, uh, saving about eight grand or so uh, for the base car over the RT. Uh, you get a, a car that doesn't handle nearly as sharply and crisply. Well, we've driven all three Challengers. What did we learn? Well, for 22 grand, the base car buys you all the retro styling, the stairs on the road, the best fuel economy of the bunch, but kind of poor performance. You have to pay 20,000 more almost for this SRT8, and you do get tremendous sound, the best tire smoking, but you pay a lot at the pump. That far, we think the best bet is the RT. For only 8,000 over the base car, you get terrific performance, all that great sound, and only one MPG on the city down on the performance. So that's our favorite, the Dodge Challenger RT.